Yo, how's it going, you guys? New Age here with another Showdown Laddering session. We're up in Gen 7 OU. I know it's been a while. It's been it's been kind of forever since I've uploaded a Showdown. Um, basically, I've been focusing a lot on uh, on my Sun and Moon. Well, my Sun uh, Let's Play. And been working on getting that out and stuff, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, but I do want to bring back Showdown. Like, the main things I really want to have on my channel are a Let's Play, the Speed Draws, and Showdown. So, if I can do that, then I'll be happy. But I haven't had much time. I'll be making an update video about all this soon. I don't need to talk about all this now. But anyways, anyways. Uh, be patient with me with the Showdown stuffs, I guess is all I have to say. I want to try some Gen 7 monotype teams, uh, see what's new to work with and all that stuff should be fun. But today we are using a, uh, a Zerka Tree team with a Tail Glow Shookaberry Zerka Tree, seeing if we can get some stuff going in there. It doesn't really have the greatest speed, but um, you know, we could definitely work on getting rid of some of the fast threats. One of the things I like about this gen is a lot of it is slow. So if people are using a lot of newer Pokemon, um, there's not as many fast threats to work around before, say, Zerka Tree can sweep. Like, base 83, I'd say, is actually kind of fast compared to some of the other things we have this gen. Uh, but otherwise, we got um, we got Shuka, Zerka Tree. We got Dark EMZ Memento um, to pass to Zerka Tree if we need to, or you know, whoever else we want to pass to. Uh, it'll be good for Zerka Tree to set up on though. Uh, we got Choice Scarf, Garchomp. We got Choice Specs, Tapu Lele. Uh, we got a Defog, Mandibuzz as a Defogger, and a Raquinid as a Spadef. Basically, we got the Special Defense and the Defensive. Araquanid is a lot of fun too. I really like it. I don't really like the leftover set, but um, I'm pretty sure it can work well. I like Choice Banded Araquanid. That's powerful. But anyways, um, I'm pretty sure we're very low on the ladder. I haven't really played much, um, but I want to start getting into some games just to see what kind of teams I like, and then maybe make the teams in my game so I can start doing some Wi-Fi battles for you guys too. But I want to know what the heck I want to use first, so let's let's figure that out through a showdown. Alright, so we got a game against some random shinies. Uh, I don't really like this team. Also, I realized we don't have rocks on this team, so that's a little unfortunate. Um, his team is fairly slow. Other than Jolteon, well, I guess uh, Mimikyu is faster too. Mimikyu could kind of be a problem. It doesn't have any stab to hit me with, but I also have Duck Trio for that, which outspeeds it. Um, which could be nice with the Iron Head. So let's see. I'm thinking, I don't know who he wants to lead with. Who is his lead on his team? I'm thinking, I guess, Araquanid or Mimikyu. I don't know why he would lead with either of those. Um,. I kind of want to lead with my own Araquanid. I don't think he'd lead with Jolteon. Yeah, so he is going to lead with Mimikyu. Um, I want to look into that. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Does uh, Disguise protect from status? Okay. Oh, it might be Lumberry though too. And this is my specially defensive mon. I think I just want to go for liquidation first. This is probably not the best idea, but and it also has Shadow Sneak. Well, I can't hit Tapu Lele with Shadow Sneak. It does outspeed me though. Oh yeah, because I'm not max speed. This would be max speed. I guess I would just try and use the trio if anything. I don't want to let a Raquinid go yet. Who could I go out into? I mean, because he's going to go for the fairy type move, right? I really want to save a Raquinid. 
because I feel like it does good against a lot of his team. Uh, I don't like the situation I put myself in. I don't want to sack Tapu Lele, but uh, Tapu Lele probably does better. Um, I'm just going to go for Protect real quick. I don't think he'd Sword Stance again. Yeah, okay. Because I want to see what he would go for. I still don't feel like anything could take it well. Um, I could try and go out into Doug Trio because I have the Tangling Hair. And that'll lower the speed. Even though he could have Shadow Claw. I think I'm just gonna go hard into Doug Trio. Cause I could get the speed drop and then Tapu Lele can come in. Is he's gonna go for a turn? What the hell? That's weird. Does he not have play rough then? Or Shadow Sneak, I mean. I'm gonna go for Iron Head. Maybe he has Shadow Claw. Oh, he's Sashed? Disguise? What? That's crazy. Okay, cool. And we get the flinch here so I can Sucker Punch and knock him out. So that way, even if he did have Shadow Sneak, we would have been faster and gone first. Alright, so Duck Trio coming through with the clutch. Uh, lowering the speed and flinching right there. We still have the memento for later, so that's nice. Uh, let's see. I didn't realize this was set up like that. I'm gonna change it a bit. Hold up. Some editing going on, I guess. I'm just gonna move it up. Whatever, that's fine. Um, let's see. I feel like Mandibuzz is a decent switch here, but I mean my own Araquanid would probably be good too. Especially because I don't know if he's toxic like mine or if he's choice banded. I'm gonna go on to my own Araquanid. As he goes for the Scald, because of Water Bubble I can't get burned. Um, and I think I will just go for Toxic. I don't know if he has Toxic too, but nothing else on his team really appreciates Toxic. And Magirna can't do much to me because of my special defense. Being hella baller. Um, so let's see. Okay, as he goes for Poison Jab. Doesn't get the Poison, so that's cool. Um, and I'm just going to go for Protect right here. Okay, he's going to switch out into Jolteon. Um, I can still go for Protect. Because... I feel like he might be choice Jolteon. I feel like that's a pretty common thing. We'll see what kind of move he goes for here though. If he like tries hard to predict, then he might be Scarfed. Because I do have obvious switches. I have an electric type and two ground types. So going for the electric move is probably not the best bet. But if he's choice, then he'd have to predict. I would assume anyways. Um, as far as game plan, Circuitry does not speak Gyarados. Before it Dragon Dances. Zerkatry can easily sweep his team. Because I outspeed everything now that Mimikyu is gone. And I do have an Empire Ground on Zerkatry. So Magirna might not do so well against me either. Yeah, so he goes for Shadow Ball. So I'm pretty sure he's... Uh, he is choice. So I think I want to go for Liquidation. Um... Expecting maybe Magirna to come out. I think I'm better off going for Toxic, actually. Yeah, because even if... Yeah, I was expecting Magirna to come out, but... Even if it did, like... It... I'm pretty sure it can't really touch me. So, I'm gonna stay in here. Uh, if he wants to Volt Switch, then fine. But I'm just gonna go for Liquidation. The thing is, I don't want his Gyarados to come out for free, either. Because Gyarados could be... Eh. It could kind of be a problem. Maybe I'll go for Toxic again. Oh, he Calm Mines. He's Calm Mine? Ooh. Okay, well. 
That was probably the worst play I could have gone for then. I didn't want his Gyarados to come out for free, but... I mean... Liquidation does a decent amount, and we can get a defense drop. Also, he's... I mean, he's fairly slow. And we have Scarf Garchomp in the back. I don't really want to have to sack something here, but... Hmm. Um, I might sack Mandibuzz. I don't really want to. But I kind of put myself in that position. I'm just going to go for Taunt here. As we do have speed him, so he's not like max speed or anything. He's going to get the boost here, and we're just going to go out in a guard chomp. Um, and just go for Earthquake. That actually might not knock him out. I don't know how defensive he is, especially if he's Calm Mind and he might be max defense. So it might be a little bad. But if anything, I guess Duck Trio could knock him out. The thing is, I'm not too worried about letting Scarf Garchomp go because um, Zerkatry outspeeds everything and is not concerned about Jolteon really. And everything that Zerkatry can't really handle, I have uh, Tapu Lele for as well. So he can knock me out there. Um, and then I can just go Duck Trio and Earthquake. I'm pretty sure I could just win with uh, Zerkatry and Tapu Lele now. And then Araquanid can wall things too, so. And if he switches here, I'll just go for Z-Momento, say if he goes into Gyarados or something. Okay, so. We knock out the Magirna. As he's gonna go into Gyarados here. Um, and I think I'm just gonna Z-Momento. I don't know if he's wanting to Dragon Dance or what, but yeah, so he just has the speed. He doesn't really have the attack. Um, hmm. I'm debating who I should go out into here. I guess Tapu Lele is more important if anything. So I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt. We do have the Shookaberry so we can live an Earthquake and he's still at minus one. So even if we don't two hit KO him, or if we don't one shot him from him not Mega Evolving here or whatever. Okay, so he's gonna go Jolteon and I really don't mind that. Um, I'm pretty sure he has Specs though. How much does this do to Circuitry though? My special defense is not amazing on this thing. And I don't want to just let him sit up here. I'm going to check. I hate typing the calc into the chat. Because then they're just like, oh, is he calc-y? Alright, Zerkatry versus Jolteon. Um, let's say like Choice Specs. And he has Shadow Ball. And I'm pretty sure I don't have any Spadef. Yeah. Or HP. Yeah. Okay, so Shadow Ball does a lot. Yeah, I think I want to go Araquanid here because if he does predict and go for an electric move, then I get to come in with, uh... I get to come in with, uh, Zerkatry anyways after that, so... Not the worst thing ever. Um, and I'm going to go for a Toxic. I could double and predict him to go out into Gyarados or something, but... Okay, so he's going to go out into his own Araquanid. Um, I kind of just want a Toxic again. I mean... Okay. That's so stupid. Because I'm like, what is he going to do to me? Like, Poison Jab doesn't do that much. I feel like it would have been more beneficial for him to double expecting me to double. You know? But we're gonna get some HP here. 
He's gonna go for liquidation. Why did that do so much? Oh my gosh. Okay, so now my answer for Jolteon is getting wore down. I might just lose to Jolteon now, unfortunately. As he tried to go for Leech Life there. Um, I'm pretty sure his Araquanid is faster. It's gonna be like, oh no, okay, so. It was a speed tie. It felt like he won more of them, but I'm glad I got that one then. I mean, we are just poison, we're not toxic, but we still, we can't take a hit anymore at this point. Um, I think he could go out into Jolteon and maybe Volt Switch. We'll see what's gonna happen here. Cause I don't take Shadow Ball as well. Um, I'm gonna protect right here. I wanna see what he wants to do. As he is locking himself into Shadow Ball now. Damn. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go into Tapu Lele then and just go for a Psychic. Because. Um, I feel like that, that could knock him out, and he shouldn't be able to knock me out with a Shadow Ball. Yeah, he does knock me out. Let's see, Modest. Like, since he didn't Mega Ball, he doesn't have a switch. Yeah, that knocks it out. Um, I'm actually gonna go for Toxic in case he decides to switch. Because otherwise he could just knock me out anyways. But say... So if he knocks me out here, I go out into Tapu Lele and I get a kill. I can knock him out, if anything. Um, I'm pretty sure I knock out Gyarados too, yep. And Drampai out speed, so he can't switch into that. Okay, so he does stay in. So now it comes down to if I can say knock out Gyarados, um, but I am going for Psychic here. Actually, damn it, I just realized that might have been a bad play, because now he can go Gyarados and set up on me. Oh yeah, that was a bad idea. Okay, that sucks. Okay, now I might have lost. That was my bad. I'm just gonna go circuitry. Um, as he stayed, okay. That was that was a bad play. He shouldn't have stayed in that form. And he's still staying, so now he's gonna get knocked out. Okay. I don't. If, if was he not Mega Gyarados? He should have Mega Evolved if he was. Um, but now I'm pretty sure we just win here. So let's see, what does the most? So Zerkatry, oh sorry if you hear my phone. Zerkatry to Drampa, um, Thunderbolt, Hidden Power Ground, and Energy Ball, what does more? Oh, he forfeit, okay, yeah. Um, Wow, Thunderbolt still did more? Okay. So Thunderbolt into Moonblast definitely would have knocked him out. Yeah, Moonblast definitely would have knocked him out. So that was game right there. Not bad. Took a little bit, but we got it. Let's get another one. All right, so we got another game with these like crazy looking shinies. We got a Guzzlord. And a freaking um, two cannon. I have not battled a two cannon. Also, I really don't like battling Mimikyu with this team. Especially like after that last one, Focus Sash Mimikyu. What the heck? That's crazy. It's like double sub. Um. Okay. Uh, Galissapod lead maybe. I kind of. I feel like a it is just like always a good lead, I guess. Um, let me see. I need to know if Disguise protects against status. Let's 
So status conditions, okay. Yeah, so status conditions do work. I do feel like Lumberry um, is a set though, like very often. I'm actually gonna protect if he wants to go for first impression. Yeah, <laughs> nah. And then I'm gonna go for Toxic here. Because he does not have a steel or a poison type. Oh, he went for the sucker punch. <laughs> um, I'm gonna protect here. I feel like he might switch, actually. I'm gonna double toxic. If sucker punch is his best move to hit me with. I could see him maybe going two cannon here. Well, that was a funny turn. Toxic protective rack when it putting in the work. Okay, he stayed in. Yeah, what's he doing? Oh my gosh, that did a lot. That is ridiculous. Why did that do so much? Is he even life orb? No, he's not. Damn. That just straight up did a lot. For no reason. Uh, I don't care if he switches out here. Because that just gives me two turns of leftovers. But damn, that did way too much. Not cool with that. Um, and I'm I'm assuming his last move is uh, liquidation. So I don't really have a switch in for this on my team. Maybe Garchomp, I guess, but it's not really gonna do anything in return to him. Glissopod's defense is pretty good, I'm sure too. If anything, maybe I could try Mandibuzz. Yeah, so he's just gonna go for Leech Life there. Again. And pff, I don't know how much this will do to Mandibuzz, but I guess we'll try it out. Should we? Or should I just go Garchomp? I mean, I do have the rough skin. I don't know what I need. Uh, Garchomp would be good for later to kind of sweep him with Earthquake if I could. Okay, that doesn't do as much as I thought. Um, am I faster than him too? 196? Oh my gosh, I might actually be faster than him. If I am faster, that's not good. I kind of want to click Roost. Well, no, because if I'm 196 and he is max 196, then it's a speed tie. Jeez. <laughs> These things are too slow. It's working against me. I'm going to go for foul play, though. Is he's going to go into Guzzlord. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming a dragon move is coming out. I know he gets Sludge Wave, too. So I don't know if I want to just go hard into Tapu Lele. Especially because I do have speed it, so it's like, what's the big deal afterwards, you know? Mm. I kind of want to roost in case he goes for a Draco. I just want to scout, see what he's going to do. I mean, I am faster than him too, apparently. <laughs> Maybe I'll taunt. I'm gonna taunt. I don't know what he wants to do, but okay. Is he physical? What is he? Was he really just gonna dragon claw me? I'm gonna roost here. Let's see. Yeah, he's actually just going for dragon claw. All right, I guess let's go Tapu Lele. I is he really just gonna let my Tapu Lele come in on him like that? I mean, he wasn't making the best plays with the Galissapod earlier, so. I don't know if he, okay, okay. I was gonna say, if he switches it up here, then I guess he got me, but I'm just gonna Moonblast here. He doesn't really have a resist. Okay, well, Chubbs is no longer Chubbs. So, not bad. Um, I guess he can go Galissapod here if he wants to. Actually, first impression doesn't even work on me. Okay, he's gonna go Mimikyu. Um, I'm going to, okay, he's, oh my gosh, why did that do so much? 
I guess I should have seen that coming. I feel like he might be choice. I guess he doesn't have to be, but I feel like, I don't know, maybe with the crit, I guess it one shots me. But I feel like that shouldn't have happened. Okay. So we're gonna break his disguise there. Jeez, that was ridiculous. I don't wanna let this thing go down either, really. I don't like that Tapulele just kind of died out of nowhere. Um, yeah, I'll foul play. Yeah, because we still take another one. Damn, that does a lot. Um, it's going to foul play again. He could always miss, even though he didn't. That's okay. And I'm going to go Duck Trio and just Iron Head here. Um, he doesn't really have a switch for this because... I mean, unless he's Scarf Zerker Tree, like, my whole team kind of outspeeds him. Or, Duck Tree outspeeds his whole team. As he's gonna go back out into this. Um, hmm. Feel like it might be time to set up here. I don't really need to Z Memento, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Just because he'll be low. First impression won't knock me out, obviously. And he gets a speed drop too. Um, so we're going to Z Memento here. And then go out into the Zerka Tree. So this shouldn't be able to do too much to me. Um, I'm going to set up a Tail Glow. Even if he's Scarf Zerka Tree, um, shouldn't be able to knock me out. And after I Tail Glow, I should be able to knock him out. And he doesn't have a switch. If he wants to go hard into a Lola Marowak, I would hope that plus three HP ground would knock him out. As he goes for Sucker Punch, that's probably like the worst play he could have gone for there. Um, as I will Thunderbolt now. I mean, that would have been when you Sucker Punch. All right, it's kind of a wrap now, I think. I mean, we're at plus four. We have Hidden Power Ground. Let's see how much this does. As it just knocks him out. So yeah, that's a wrap. Like I said, even... Okay, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure we outspeed 2 cannon. I don't remember how to look this up. Don't laugh at me. I don't even know if I spell that right. How do you spell it? 2 cannon? Oh, 2 ends. Like actual cannon. Yeah, so it's 60 base speed, so we outsped that as well. Um, so Zerkatry coming through. Let's get one more game. Alright. We have a game against a Trick Room team. Is this Joey's team? I'm like actually curious. Hold up. Because this might be a team that... I mean, I guess not Joey's team like it's his, but... Pretty sure he just did a live with the same exact team. With Wishy Washy and Trick Room. Yo, hurry up and load. I don't want this guy to leave. I want to have like his exact team. Okay, um, I don't know what his lead is here. I think his lead is uh, Carbink. Um, so I think I want to lead with Araquanid. Yeah, because that way if he wants to explode on me, um, then I can protect. So I think he's just going to go like Stealth Rocks here. I'm just going to go for protect. Um, yeah, this is his exact team. As he's gonna set up Trick Room right away, I'm gonna go for Protect here in case he decides to explode this turn. Um, hopefully he would, I guess. Or no, he's gonna Stealth Rock here. Damn it. Well, now I instantly regret that. Um, I don't want a Raccoon to take an explosion. I also feel like Mandibuzz does well against his team. I guess I might go out into Duck Trio. This will probably knock me out, but I mean, I don't I don't give a Lowland Duck Trio a lot of credibility, just because it's it's very weak. Um, I think I might just Sucker Punch, let this thing go down. Yeah, get some damage off, get it close to that lower health. As he actually misses the Hydro Pump. Um, Partyman wants to go out into a Raquinid here. 
Wow. I mean, taking the 25 was not fun, and neither was taking that extra 24. But Trick Room is going to wear off here. Um, I don't know if he's faster. I'm going to protect. Yeah, I didn't know if that was the play, but I'm going to Toxic here. Um, as his slow bro has what? Let's see. Surf, Fire Blast, Trick Room, Psychic. Um, I don't think any of that will do a lot to me, actually. I kind of want to double Toxic in case he wants to switch. Leech Life might be better to get off damage. Because he has Psy Shock. Okay, so he changed it. Um, I'll get a little HP. And I can protect on him too, so. I mean, that's cool. And I still have Manda Buzz, so. I mean, I guess I wasn't... That wasn't like the most obvious play was going for Psy Shock, so. I probably wouldn't have switched to Manda Buzz there. I kind of feel like my team is bulky enough to stall him out though, because one of his Trick Room users is always already gone. Um, and Sobro is getting worn down with the Toxic. So all he's got left is Porygon. <clears throat> As I'm just going to go Manda Buzz here. I'm going to try and defog. Yeah, as he just lets his Slowbro die. Um, he could go Porygon. Yeah, <laughs> the fastest Porygon play of my life. I'm going to go Dugstrio here. Because Trick Room is going to wear off after this anyways. As he does just go for Thunderbolt. Um, and I kind of want to go for... I kind of want to go for Z-Memento. Maybe into Mandibuzz. Or maybe into Zerkatry. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure his Porygon is uh, Thunderbolt Ice Beam. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna Z Memento. He does have the special attack boost, but um, as he actually goes for Ice Beam instead of Trick Room. Huh. Part of me really wants to go out into a Raquanid. But I feel like... I feel like if he doesn't set up Trick Room, he's going to get swept by me. Well, no. Circuitry can sweep later. Not now. I'm not going to try and do it now, actually. Um, I really want to get rid of these rocks, but I really want a Raquanid to have HP, so... Um, and I'm gonna Toxic here. Yeah, if he wants to go for Trick Room, then fine. If he wants a Thunderbolt, okay. I mean, he's minus one, so... It's probably not the best idea on his part. And he's gonna Trick Room here, and that's fine too. Like, he's he's really not doing any damage to me, so... Um, I think I want to go for Leech Life in case he switches to... Not Magirna. I mean, I was fine with him going Magirna because I could protect again now and waste another turn of Trick Room. Actually, what kind of... Is he Calm Mind Magirna? No. He's Trick Room Magirna too. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so I'm going to protect here. He just go, goes for Shadow Ball. Um, I went for Leech Life in case he went out into Wishy Washy because I felt like that was more of a threat than Magirna even though I didn't know what Magirna said this was. Um... And I think I'll go for like liquidation here, get off damage. I'm actually faster than him, so that's funny. Um, as he gets a special defense drop. And here I'm going to go out into Mandibuzz on a Shadow Ball. Because I really want to get rid of these rocks. As he goes for Floor Cannon there, so that was a good play on his part. Um, but I think at this point with how much damage I've done to his team I can either sweep or punch a huge hole in his team with Garchomp right here so I'm just gonna click Earthquake Porygon is at 82% and he's not a defensive Porygon like Porygon 2 is really good at being bulky but under Trick Room when it's like a offensive Porygon 2 it's not very bulky at all so I'm pretty sure I just sweep him here um I don't know how much I do to Wishy Washy that's my only thing but he does not have a switch for this. I would love if he went Porygon here. 
but yeah, I wouldn't think he would. Um, as he goes into wishy-washy now, um, I think I'm just going to go for Earthquake again, because that'll do a lot. It actually doesn't bring him down, so that's a little unfortunate. Or does it do it at the end of the turn? I don't know. Um, either way, I think now I can sweep with Zerkatry. Yeah, let's do that now. Um, his offense is actually horrible. So I could try and go for a Tail Glow here. Yeah, I think I might do that. Um, I really don't think he could knock me out with anything. Just because of how bad it is. Yeah, it's 20 attack. Like, there's no way. And 40 base speed. Yeah, so we're going to set up here as he's going to U-turn. And it's a little too late now. I mean, well, he's off. he should be offensive Marowak too. At plus 3, it knocks it out. Or at plus 4, I knew it knocked it out. Yeah, so it should be a wrap there. Um... Thunderbolt should do a ton, if not knock it out. Yeah. So like I said, it, it's more offensive. Um, it's it's more bulky when it's not in a Trick Room team. When it's in Trick Room, it's very frail. Uh, so Zergatree pulled through a lot in that game. Not bad. That was a lot of fun. Um, or Zergatree pulled through in a lot of the games, actually. We were able to save it till the end and sweep pretty well. So that was nice how the, the team worked out. Not bad. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share the video, comment down below, all the good stuff. Um, like I said, I don't know how frequently the showdown lives are going to come, but I do want to start getting back into those again because I'm working towards the end of editing Sun and Moon. Um, so I should be good to record more showdown kind of stuff. So yeah, until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching. See you guys next time. Later.